They're doing I, a good thing. They are. And I am in complete 100% agreement until this happens. And they cause a problem. A select few. They said they're not even from here. So why is it a problem to ship? Well, I think it's going to kind of be loud because people are going to be like, I just, whatever you want, whatever, to capitulate, appease, whatever you want, just please don't do this shit. So reach out, help them get some new programs, new training for cops. It's funny that they target Starbucks. You hit all three of the Starbucks. Was it you? <laughs> no, I'm going to help clean up though. They said it was a nice looking lady with sunglasses, so. <laughs>like I said before this this don't have nothing to do with the man's death up in Minnesota though. Man, what, what's your what's your opinion on all of this? Yes, ma'am. It was pretty uncalled for. I mean I understand what happened. Obviously. Yeah, but the city did definitely come through to help everybody clean up. It's amazing. guys opinion on all of this go ahead I don't know what my opinion I'm all fucking night cleaning up this shit no reason for it that's my opinion I got you I got you bunch of photo over pussies if you ask me
much all this gonna cost to, to redo all of this? I mean, what, what, what y'all think? How, how much it's gonna cost to redo all of this? A lot of money. <laughs> Everything else, all busted out, right? But the casino. How about this? All the local shops in East 9th are busted out. The county building's pristine. How about that? How about that, man? No one touched, no one touched the county building. That tells me that the people that did this were not from here. Because if there were people that were down here that were going to that level, if there were people that were from Cleveland, they'd take issue with that county building. And for the local businesses on 9th to be destroyed, You know what? I'm just now thinking about that, bro. You know why they won't touch the casino? It's too much money, and there's dirty money in there. That'll get them killed. Yes. Whoever, whoever, whose idea was that? Tell them I commend them for that one. My idea. Yo, I did. I commend you for that, bro. I said nine o'clock yesterday. But let's go do it. I commend you for that, bro. I really do. Keep it all. Get an insurance check. They said that the people that did this wasn't even from here. Yeah, that's, uh, I think the, the mayor said, or the chief of police said something like that. I believe it though. And this ain't no this this ain't no protesting, man. I mean this this serves this serves no purpose. It, this this is purpose of chaos and mayhem.
Why is it important for uh, people like those who are down here to come downtown and help clean up? I think it's important to show that we're a good community and we'll sit together in times of trouble. No matter what happens, we'll come back and we'll keep coming back as much as we need to. Anything else you'd like to tell me, Mark? That's it. Thank you. What, what's, your, what's your thoughts on all of this, man? Yeah. That's the group it's, uh, that's down sad. there. If you can borrow their 4 by 4 it's sad. Well, I, see it I know coming you know I didn't even think I was going to come down here but actually seeing it like close up it's hurtful yeah, I agree. it's hurtful I agree. so what what brought you down here to to help out uh, I got I saw a post in the news uh, I got a little notification that they're asking volunteers down here and um, when I saw it from a distance like the riding off the highway uh, yesterday when it first started First, I felt some type of way um, when I was you know, seeing what was happening in Minnesota. I was like, "Oh my God!" Like, the riding, like, it was awesome. And I got kind of excited about it. And then, it's all in your own city, your own backyard. Floyd, you feel now, the situation that happened to Floyd, which was a tragic one, yeah. it happened like a thousand, about two thousand miles away. Well, no, nah, not two thousand. I think Minnesota is about fourteen hundred. I'm a truck driver, so yeah, yeah. it's about fourteen hundred. So a situation that happened 1,400 miles away had an effect that's 1,400 miles here. Mm -hmm. I understand. I understand the the protesting, you know, because all of you know there there's plenty of police brutality, plenty of you know us getting killed by police. Yep. Does does this does this make any purpose? Does this make any point? I mean, I think the biggest thing, the uh, reason why people were doing a lot of the protesting is they wouldn't have their voices heard, but, you know, at the end of the day, you're destroying your own city. It's counterproductive, in my opinion. You know, I think it's uh, making the situation worse. You know, you having your voice heard with violence, you know, Martin Luther King's quote was, uh, you know, Darkness doesn't drive out darkness, only light drives out darkness. Hate doesn't drive out hate, only love can drive out hate. So I think by inciting more violence, creating riots, throwing more lives from businesses, hurting people, isn't making the situation better, it's actually making it worse. So I appreciate you, Now bro. this happens. Now this happens.
what what is your what what is your opinion of all of this? My opinion, honestly, the issue is prevalent. It's a serious issue. I got three sons and I have a husband, and it's not a day that goes by that I don't tell them that if the police stop you, to put your hands up. You know, every mother is giving all of our male figures instructions on how to stay alive. But what I saw here last night and what I've been seeing in the cities, it's not about George Floyd. Exactly. It's not about George Floyd. It's just it's criminals looting and stealing, and it is what it is. But what I want people to understand and what I want the world to understand, that does not signify black people. Right. You exactly. got bad people in the white race, you have bad people in the Asian race, you have bad people in the Chinese race. It's good and bad in every race. Exactly. And it's exactly. gonna take us we had a small window of opportunity losing George Floyd, where people in the world is finally willing to listen to us. With all the vandalism and the looting that's going on, it just threw it, it out it, it just threw it, it out the window. Stepped into the stereotype they already had. We could have changed legislature. We could have put the truth about where blacks came from into the school systems. We could have done a lot of things. Violence was never the answer. And you got some of the wrong people actually running the roles of leadership for Black Lives Matter. And I'm going to call it from what it is because what happened yesterday should have never happened. The police were peaceful. I watched the entire thing. You had a few people that instigated it and stirred it up. And once they got with the reaction that they wanted, I live downtown. I live here where all this destruction is. And it carried on until after 12 o'clock, gunfire, gunfire, the whole thing where all of us were afraid for our lives last night. How exactly. can you become the tormentor that you're accusing other people of doing to you? That's hypocrisy. Exactly. Exactly. What do you think, uh, how do you think about how the police and the city handled it? Could have been, could have been different? I think they did it exemplary. Exemplary. I watched them and I watched how they handled it after it was four people, and I believe they were four of that small group of people that the governor is saying that is going in instigating the violence. I saw it was one Caucasian female and three black guys that went up and pulled the door to the Justice Center and threw things at them. The female that runs Black Lives Matter, she checked her and she told her to stay in her lane. And um, the white lady said, who else in the crowd is going to use their body as a human shield? And that's when I watched the TV said, what are you talking about? You're taking this to a whole nother level. And when she did that, they disappeared. You never saw them again, but that was the catalyst that Char made them rush the Justice Center. For about 20 minutes, the police did not come out. They gave them a chance, and they just kept throwing stuff. They kept doing things, and they, when they came out, they came out with bikes to let them know that they were standing down. Bikes and pepper spray. The Justice Center was being assaulted, but they came out with bikes and pepper spray. Yeah. That was letting them know that we're not coming to assault you guys. Exactly. And they continued to start throwing things at them for real, trying to hit them in the face and all kind of stuff before they even came out with guns. So the public exacerbated that whole ordeal. I don't hold no fault with I think our Commander Williams is an excellent chief, and I think the police did an exemplary job last night. So with the city, city, seeing the city like this after after all said and done and seeing the people come back together what that say about Cleveland? Cleveland is a city of comeback. I'm 51 years old. Cleveland is, is a city of comeback. We have been through so many trials and tribulations. I've been down here in downtown Cleveland for nine years. I was here before Jax came. I've seen the growth. I've seen how downtown that came back alive. We will not prosper and stay prosperous if things like what happened yesterday to happen. All right, all right. So it's not just for Cleveland. This is worldwide, national. Ask yourself if anybody sees this. Out of all the violence that has happened nationwide, tell me what has changed. The Good point. The officer that was arrested was already arrested. You have to let due justice go through, due process. He was going to be arrested due to the video anyway. So right. tell me one thing that has changed since all this violence. There's nothing. Except that y'all closed the windows of opportunity for us to actually make changes. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. And one more thing. Oh, okay. One more, one more thing. thing. One more thing. We have to bring God back. Yeah. We have there. to bring God back. Woo. Everybody is trying to take God off the walls, off the windows, off the heavens. We got to bring God back. And we got to learn to love each other's differences. Exactly. It's going to be love that's going to heal the city. I'm African American. You look Italian. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm halfway there. Okay. <laughs> so that difference intrigues me because I'm right, right. Italian. So instead of people getting angry, people are stirring up this race war and all right. of that. Let it intrigue right. us. Instead of everyone in 
enjoying each other's yeah, cultural and differences. You can tell me what your world is like. I can tell you what mine is yeah, like. Yeah. I can cook the sauce for your food. It'll make me stuff your right. food. But, 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 you but, can... but one thing brings us together, God. Uh-huh. Got to bring him back. Gotta oh, I, I, I got to give you a high five. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. All right. Take care, ma'am. Thank you.